What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now in this video we are going to be reviewing the Parker Jotter Fountain Pen. Now you may be wondering, whoa, whoa, whoa there Dakosara, I didn't know that Parker made fountain pens that were called the Jotter. This and this are the classical Parker Jotters. Actually, this one's a very classic one. And then they came out with an all stainless steel model. Then, well, actually, I don't know when, but they also have the Parker Jotter fountain pen. So let's just take a look at these three really quickly. Here's your classic Parker Jotter. If you watch Mad Men, you've even seen it in that. It's a classic ballpoint. You just click, boom. Um, I love this pen. It writes well. It's built to last. You can throw it around. Nothing's going to happen to it. Beast of a pen. Classic. Looks gorgeous. Then they also came out with the full stainless steel model. Same thing. Parker Jotter. In this case, actually, it's a little bit better um, engineering and build quality. The spring here is more firm. The case itself feels stronger. So a little bit more expensive, but you really do get what you pay for. And here is the Parker Jotter fountain pen. And if you look at it, it's designed just to look like the same model. So that's great. Same stainless steel. Here it's going to say, um, let me read it for you. Uh, made in UK, United Kingdom. Um, and here it says Parker. And here's the classic Parker. And here's the classic arrow. A little bit of plastic here on top. Nothing on the bottom. You open it up. There it is. Now, for those of you who are fountain pen aficionados and know some of the other fountain pens I've shown this my channel, this is not an expensive fountain pen. This is a cheap fountain pen, and it comes with a cheap no-name nib. It just says Parker on it. Um, it doesn't even have, and it just says here has a little M, which you cannot unfortunately see. Um, I can barely see it myself in person. That tells you it's a medium nib. What you do is unscrew this, and it comes with one ink cartridge. You, since this fountain pen is so cheap, you cannot even buy a converter for it, or at least I could not find one. Um, so what I do is you can just get a needle and syringe and just refill it manually, just suck it up with the syringe and needle, and just remove the cartridge and refill it and put the cartridge back in, easy as such. It works beautifully. Some people actually convert these to eyedroppers in which they just fill this with ink, put a little bit of silica in a um, rubber ring and they just fill it up. Um, I didn't find a need to do that. I thought that the actual cartridge was more than enough. And half the reason why I don't do that is whenever you yourself convert something to an eyedropper, you take the inherent risk that it can leak on you. And I just didn't find that risk um, necessary. I could just come home every night and just do a quick refill. It'll take less than a minute. Why? give myself to that. So I think this pen, for given the, it being a cheap pen, is actually quite gorgeous. When you post the pen, it looks nice. Now let's write together. I think I might have some blue ink in here. Let me just kind of make sure it's working. Okay, ready? Let's write together. Look at that. No skipping, nothing. It's easy to write. I've got some blue ink in here. Um, I'll just show you what ink I have if you're curious. Um, I have this I hope it's pronounced Schaefer. I'm not sure. It's this kind of blue color. Um, I actually bought this off Amazon because it's cheaper than at my local fountain pen store. They charge a fortune. They don't know the internet exists. <laughs> so there you go. I just use this one. It works beautifully. It's great. And um, I just use a syringe to refill it. And I have to say, this Parker Jotter is great because not only does it look very classy, very nice. This is all plastic, unfortunately. The, the nib is very generic. But I have to say, for it being a cheap nib, it's wonderful. Okay? Look at that. It doesn't skip. It doesn't do anything. It just writes. It's a little bit thick. It's a heavy medium, I would say. But it writes very well. So if you're just sitting there and you're studying, you're like, hmm, what's seven times three? Come on, we should know that. Uh, or what's five plus five? I don't know what people say these days, right? Um, what's the square root of X? Oh my God, I don't know. What? Whatever, you get the point. Um, so if you're just sitting there and studying or if you're writing prescriptions or whatever you're doing, the beauty of it is it looks professional. It looks clean. You have the hidden joy of it being a fountain pen. If you keep it in the cartridge mode, there's no risk of it ruining your white coat or ruining your shirt or whatever um, of it like spilling ink out and when you close it look at that sleek gorgeous compact fits inside my hand yes I've been refilling pens my hands are a little dirty it's tiny same size as the actual jotters you know usually in my coat you'll find both of these um, and I absolutely love it cannot say enough about it I could not find this um, in the US I ended up buying it I think on Amazon from a seller from the UK. 
I don't know why I couldn't find it. If you guys can find it in the U.S., you know, go ahead and buy it. But luckily, the U.K. seller they didn't charge me any extra shipping. It was just like buying in the U.S. It just took a bit longer to get here. But nonetheless, absolutely beautiful. Love my Parker Jotter. Cheap pen, but it's wonderful. Look at this. Look how well this writes. God, you just want to love this, don't you? Fantastic. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review of the Parker Jotter fountain pen. It's a great pen fits right along the family of the classic Parker Jotter um, ballpoints. Carry all, I truly carry all three with me all the time. These two are more of my professional looks. This one's more of my, you know, just everyday use one. Um, and it's wonderful. Love them. Can't speak more highly of them. And you know, I even showed you the ink I use for this one, which is this blue Schaefer. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you use this pen, let me know. Uh, if you guys know how to get it in the U.S. a little bit easier than having to buy from the U.K. sellers, share it with the guys. Share it in the comments below just to make it easier for everyone. Let me know if you use fountain pens, what you like, what you don't like. Um, just with respect to this pen, there is not a single thing I do not like about it. It's easy to use. It's cheap. The nib is fine. It doesn't skip. Some expensive fountain pens are extremely upsetting because the nib's going to skip. This thing works flawlessly. Simplicity has proven well. I have nothing bad to say about it. It's wonderful. It's small. It fits in the line of Jotter. I love it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. And as always, enjoy your studies.